Okay, in today's video, I'm going to talk you through how do you set up a room tag so that it will display the interior dimensions of the room. So to do this, I'll go ahead and open up a new project. And in this project, I have some walls that I just quickly threw in here. And I also have a room tag and a room. If I don't have a room, a room tag, uh, I can go to my architecture tab. I can grab the room um, button here and then select the interior space. Hit escape to finish that command. And now I have a blank room uh, without a dimension feature to it. If I come over here to my properties or room tag and look at edit type, I do not see anything here that I can turn on for the interior dimensions. So I need to add that. So to do this, I'm going to hit edit family. While this is selected, I hit edit family at the top of the screen. And what that's going to do is open up the family for uh, this room tag. So with this open, uh, what I like to do is I like to just set up a separate label. Uh, so I don't need to um, work within the same label. Uh, I've seen this done before where that happens. So I can just go ahead and I'll even just move this up and I'll just copy this label. Pretty easy way to do this down here. So I'm utilizing the same thing that's here. Uh, I could have gone ahead and added one, but it just seemed like copying it is pretty simple to do. So now I select the room name that I just copied. I hit edit label. And this is where you can see the parameter. This is the parameter for the name and then the sample value. This is what we're seeing where it says room name. So what I'm going to do here is I need to add some information to this uh, and then I'll delete this line. So to add the information is I need a formula that's going to calculate the room uh, so that if I move the walls, it'll calculate those dimensions. So to do this, I hit the formula tab and the uh, name that I want to call this is going to be length. And I actually like to call it length x. And the reason I do that is because I don't want to forget to add the suffix between the two dimensions. So I call it length x. And then I come down here to discipline is common. I leave that be. Type is number. And I'm going to change this to length because it is going to be a length um, information. And then the formula. To find the formula, uh, it's fairly simple to go out to the web. And then we just search for the formula. Now. I had gone back here and I typed in uh, uh, room tag, tag length, and width. And once I do this, uh, Revit, put Revit in there as well. What it should come up with is there's several places you can go find this formula. Uh, here's where I, were, I went to is room tag length and width included. You go to this link, and if you go to any of these links, you're really going to find this formula. Uh, it's far easier if you just highlight the formula instead of trying to uh, actually type it in. So then we go back out if we've copied that, highlight it, copy it, and then we paste that formula into this formula area. Once we do that, we hit OK, and now that becomes a parameter. I'm going to go ahead and set up the next parameter for width, and then I'm going to also set up uh, it's also uh, a length type um, parameter. And then the formula for this is based off the area. So it's going to be area. And I'm going to go ahead and select that from these fields. So I'm going to select area. And then I'm going to hit divided by. And then I'm going to go find length x because that is my uh, parameter that I had just created. So then I'll hit OK. Now with that, that's going to set up the um, dimensions. But I want to remove this parameter name. So I don't need this one. So I hit this remove parameter from the label and then I hit apply and OK. Now you can see that I have my room name that's still here, length and width, and then the information if I want volume and the room number and etc. So I'm just going to go up here and hit load in the project. And I'll go ahead and put this in my project two. That's the one I'm working in right now. Overwrite the existing version overwrite the existing version and now you can see that the length and width has shown up. Now if I take and stretch one of these walls or change the dimensions you can see that the dimensions will update. Now you look at this and say this is 31.6 this is 30.10 well the reason being is that this 31.10 is based off of the uh, interior dimensions. The other thing that you can see here that is missing is the X in between these two. And this is why I usually like to add, get back into edit family, get back into the parameter, edit the label. This is why I put length X because I always want to not forget that there's a suffix that I need to add. So in the suffix column, I'm going to hit space and then I'm going to put in a capital X. The reason why I do that is the space spaces it out a little nicer. 
hit OK. Go ahead and load to the project. We're going to hit OK. Goes into both. We're going to overwrite them, overwrite them both in both projects. And now you can see that there is the X between the two dimensions. So it cleans it up a little bit. The room name is still uh, editable. Type in whatever room name that you want here. And you still have all the same functionality in the room tag that you had before, as well as volume, room number, etc. Um, so hopefully this helps set up a, the interior room dimensions for a room tag.